have to do technical management. So we are beginning to develop a degree program in engineering management, which is going to be a one-year program, and we would encourage all of you to consider that program after completing your bachelor's degree in engineering. So you can come here for one year with any kind of degree in engineering from China, and then get a degree in engineering management. That will be kind of an MBA for an engineer. So you don't have to really be being an engineer and become a business professional, but you can continue the path of growth and evolve, evolution as an engineer. As you know that all the programs that we offer are highly accredited by ABIT. So we do maintain highest possible quality. So I hope that you will go back and talk to some of your other friends who have not seen uh, United States and they want to be a part of the United States learning process. I came to this country 27 and a half years ago, just like you. So there were a lot of surprises for me, and I'll, I'll, I'll count some of them. When I came here, it was January 6th, and I came from India. So the temperature difference was tremendous. So I, and we did not have best of views at that time, so the plane was, there were stairs, I got down from the plane in a suit like this, with no over jacket, overcoat or no jacket. Oh my God, I thought I was going to die. So if you're coming in January, please bring an overcoat or bring a thick jacket that is needed. The other thing I realized coming from India and China was that there were bigger cars here. And people were less darker. <laughs> Very fair. And there was less noise. If you're in China and India, everybody puts their hands on the car horns and they, 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 they drive by horns. So that was missing here. So those were some of the observations I had. My 27 years in this country have been wonderful. I've learned a lot. I have been respected a lot. I think people here, they, 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 they take you a part of their family. So you are a part of our family now. I told my wife that she has 31 more children and she was surprised. <laughs> <laughs> so thank you once again for choosing NIU. I hope that you had a wonderful experience. And I truly, like I said, the first day, Anybody who has had experience in more than one country will be a good candidate for a global economy. When you graduate and you start working for a company, either in China or in India or in Hong Kong or in Singapore, if you have had experience or, or exposure to more than one country, you will have a competitive edge as compared to some of the other students who have not. In 2015, the Chinese economy will be the biggest in the world followed by the United States economy. By 2050, there will be only three languages in the world. English, Spanish, and Cantonese. So those are the three languages, Mandarin. Those are the only three languages that are going to prevail in the world. So you know, whether you like it or not, China and the United States will be always connected, whether economically or by culture. So we are looking forward to a strong pipeline of students going from here to China and students from China to here. And when you talk about Microsoft, you talk about IBM, you talk about Motorola, you talk about Caterpillar, they need people all over the world. Because they have factories in China, they have factories in India, they have factories in the United States. So I think I feel in the next 10 years, irrespective of whether you go to school, you will visit all these companies at different sites. So prepare for a global economy, prepare for the future, get as much exposure as you can, try to understand the trade differences, the trade barriers in different countries, and once you understand those, your, your degree is going to be much more valuable than the ones who have not had that exposure. I'm always available to answer your questions. If you have any questions for your further education, please write to me. You have my email. Dr. Pierce is here. Dr. Allen is here. An international student office does a tremendous job. We will not be able to do this unless we have help and partnership with the international student office. So my thanks to everybody and a little bit thanks to Dr. Gao for having this program. <laughs> Always smiling, irrespective of uh, how hard he works. So thank you, Dr. Gao. And have a wonderful journey back home and stay in touch. Be careful. Thank you.